Hey guys, and today's video I will brought you by the Christmas tree. I also have no makeup on and also have my trampy chill out let's do nothing clothes because I have been fighting off getting laryngitis for about three three days now. Wait, what day? I'm gone. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah, about three days now I've been fighting and I just can't be bothered but I had to film something and I couldn't be bothered sorting everything out upstairs because the whole place is a mess because we go away in like a week's time now so everything is upside down I'm trying my hardest to not be ill I've already had like yellow spots in my throat I keep coughing and by the end of the day I pretty much have no voice so I may sound a little bit husky right now but we'll just get through it I need to film something because I'm forcing myself to, so I brought you by the Christmas tree. I don't know what the lighting's like, I don't know what the sound is like. I should maybe shut that over so it's not quite so echoey. But for today's video, I wanted to do a haul video, but more maybe more of a collection because I've had s some of these for a little while now, but it, they just sort of slotted in quite well. I bought a lot the other day, so they sort of all fit together. And this is an adult colouring book haul slash collection. Now, not like too adult, meaning like just adult colouring books. Back in the summer, I got a birch box that was a colour your own box and I absolutely loved it. I thoroughly enjoyed colouring it in. Then I looked for a long time for adult colouring books and I couldn't find any anywhere. Now you can't step into a shop without finding them. So I may have, oh my God, made myself a bit of a collection of them. That seems like an awful lot, but there is method to the madness and we'll just crack on with showing you them all. I've shown this one before. This was the first one that I got. This is Creative Colouring for Grown Ups Beautiful Patterns. And it just looks like this. This is the first one that I got. So, like I said, I've had it for a while. Let's find one to show you. See? I've had this one for a while, like so like the pages are starting to fall out and everything. But I've had that one for a while. Most of these... Oh no. Yeah, this one was from the works. They have a really big selection. They're not honestly the best ones, but they are quite cheap. Also bought this one recently. This is Creative. I love Creative Colouring, and it is just a tiny little pocket one that is full of little tiny patterns. And I bought this for when we go away because it is something that relaxes me and focuses my attention on something. Thought this would be quite good to do like in the airport and on the plane and stuff to just focus my mind on something else rather than what's actually happening. And this one I got from Asda. It says it was 5 99 on the back but I'm pretty sure I didn't pay 5 99 for it. I think it was about £3 just because I wanted something small. These two are actually Chris's. However, I don't think he actually really likes it. He just kept seeing me do lots of colouring and was like, oh, I wish I had something to colour. So we've got Chris two different colouring books. However, I think he's done one in each of them because it just, he'd rather sit and play games like most boys do. So these are Chris's and I may end up stealing them eventually. So we've got Colour and Create Celtic Designs. And this one still has the price tag on. This was four pounds. And it's exactly what it sounds like. It's just lots of different Celtic patterns, he was into all this sort of stuff, but I, I actually think he's just coloured one and that was it. Let's see. No, look, he hasn't even coloured a full one. That's as far as he got. So I don't think he's really into it. Also, which is what, which, what is Chris's? Which is Chris's is a Harry Potter colouring book. We got this from Asda. I think this, it says it's 9 99 again, but it wasn't. I think it was five pounds this. I saw it and thought, oh, he might really enjoy this one. So I bought it for him. And it, again, I think he's coloured one. And he's just he's just not in, that into it. I don't think he has the patience for it. But the Harry Potter one looks like this. It's a bit difficult to, like, go through. But it's just all different Harry Potter things. I love this page. I love, like, fonts and typography. So I may steal this page from him and colour that in. But it's quite good, this one, because it has, like pictures in the back for you to like copy off so if you're not very good at deciding what colours or knowing what colours you can copy off the pictures in the back. This is where things get a bit crazy because these are what I have left and they're actually all the same book like but they are a magazine subscription. I haven't subscribed because I've can't bothered 
I'm from honest. But what I did actually do is buy a crap ton of them. So the first one that I got is this one, which is issue six. This is the Relax With Art Colouring for Adults magazine. They sell it in like news agents and stuff. Chris bought me this one and brought it back and he's like, look what I got you. And I love it. It's all mainly like pictures rather than patterns. There are a couple of patterns, but a lot of them are just actual pictures and this is really cheap this is 2 99 and you get 24 images in it that you can colour and like I said most of them are actual pictures rather than patterns which is quite nice it's nice to do something a bit different so these are 2 99 and I got issue 6 and then I missed issue 7 because I just I couldn't find it I don't think I don't think they ever got it in so a couple days ago I went and bought these two, which are the newest ones, these are issue 8 and a special collection and this are special Christmas ones and it is, oh, oh I forgot with this one, it comes with little cards that you can colour in, I really, I really like this idea, like it comes with like little cardboard and you colour these in and it makes Christmas cards, it's just full of Christmas stuff, that one again was 2 99 the special holiday collection one was £5.99, so a bit more pricey, more of the price of a book rather than a magazine. And this one is just full of Christmas stuff, which is the one I'm doing right now. I just went past it. This is what I'm doing right now, it's Christmas presents. I very much like the, the block shapes of colouring. I quite like things like that. And they, do, they have done a few of these. What issue is this? Issue four of the holiday collection. However, this is the only one I've managed to get hold of. So, I got them. I really enjoyed them and thought, I wonder what would happen if I had a little nose on eBay. And it turns out what happens is I ended up buying a lot more off eBay. They, they were not, I think some were £2.50 and some were 2 99 I have issue 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I already have issue 6 and issue 7 and 8 and a holiday collection. And I, I love it. So issue one is mainly just patterns. I was a bit disappointed by that. This one is mainly just patterns. Not sure how much I will colour of it or I don't know. Issue two is a bit more varied and the first page is a cat and you know I've got my cat and I love it. Again it's just a nice mixture on this one of patterns and then a couple of like images. Number three, I feel like they're supposed to have themes, but I'm not quite sure. This one is number three, which again, is just a mixture of patterns, really. There's a couple of pictures in that. And then these are where, two, four and five are sort of where they seem to have branched out a bit more and gone into more of the images. So it's like a hot air balloon. I don't know if I've coloured any in this. What's in this one? Oh, there's postcards in this one on cardboard, so you can colour in the postcards. I don't know if I've coloured anything in it in this one yet. I don't think I have. I've got so many. Mm. No. Ooh, that one's really pretty though. Look at that one. A nice windmill. Issue 6 has a really funky scarecrow on the front, which I have coloured him in. There's my scarecrow. And this one is, again, just... I really can't do it this way. A nice mixture. I think I've coloured another one in, in this one. Um, evidently not. And then issue 7, which is the one that I couldn't find in the shops. I ordered again on eBay. And this is a special Halloween one, which is super exciting. I love Halloween. It's got like a scary house. And then this one that I coloured in, which I'm really proud of. It's like my favourite one so far that I've coloured in. A spider. What else have we got? Oh, a fairy that's half coloured in. A camper van. You can tell I like this one. I've coloured in a few in this one. Let's see what else is in there. What, a unicorn? It's just very exciting. I can't wait to... I, I've got so many now, I'm struggling to find ones that I want to colour. But I highly, highly recommend, if you're not really into like ones like this, which are the patterns, then definitely check out, like, I got mine from McCall, McCall's, which is, anybody that's not in England, is like just like a shop, but here in England, it's like, an, it's a news agent, and that's where, the only place I've actually seen them, but then, I never really look at the magazines in Asda, 
but they are really good definitely worth the price for three pound and each one you get 24 and in the holiday collection i have no idea how many you get you get a buttload in the holiday collection for six pounds i am officially done and stocked up on coloring books because i just love it i also bought a huge like fine liner pen set because i don't really like coloring with pencils and i think they were about six pounds from um the works and they're really good to be honest i wasn't too sure how well they were going to be how, like how good they were going to be for six pounds but they work really well so if it's something that you want to do highly highly recommend going to the works buying the pens and then these ones are the best ones that I have. I just love them. There's so many. I'm not going to sit and colour and I don't know whether to carry on with what I've already been doing or start a new one after looking through them. That is it for today's video. I don't know when this will be going up or when I'll be next uploading because yeah. That is it for this video. I hope that you've liked being near the Christmas tree and seeing me with no makeup and in my tramp clothes because it's just the way we roll and I will see you soon. Bye.